Hey folks, I'm just coming from question period and heading down to committee, but we have some breaking news. Now yesterday at the Ethics Committee, we passed a motion calling for the Ethics Commissioner and her brother-in-law, who's a member of Cabinet, who has been found guilty of breaking ethics laws, to testify at a study at the Ethics Committee. Now, during question period, we learned the news that the Ethics Commissioner has resigned. Now, this is, of course, the, the right thing to do. Uh, the appointee was the sister-in-law of a sitting member of Justin Trudeau's cabinet who had been found guilty of breaking ethics laws. But it leaves the office of the Ethics Commissioner in a position where they're now unable to fulfill all of the responsibilities that they have. There are functions of that office that can only be discharged by the actual ethics commissioner. And so now with the interim commissioner having uh, resigned, we don't have a functioning commissioner's office. It's paralyzed. And it's paralyzed because of the politicization of this role by Justin Trudeau and his cabinet. And Canadians need to be able to have confidence that these independent officers of parliament, like our ethics commissioner, are there to keep an eye on things so that when complaints are made about the type of thing that, well, frankly saw this prime minister twice found guilty of breaking our ethics laws, that we know that the person making those decisions avoids even the appearance of a conflict of interest. The next steps are that they need to appoint someone into this role, which of course is going to require a responsible approach from the Trudeau government. And that means consulting with recognized parties in the House of Commons to find someone who does avoid even the appearance of a conflict of interest and of course, actual conflicts of interest. So uh, we're going to continue to press the government to restore this office to its functioning status. The now former interim ethics commissioner returns to her role, which she is eminently qualified for and not in a conflict. We need to make sure that we don't have the Liberal government continuing to make these appointments that obviously undermine Canadians' confidence. And I'll, and I'll give you one example. I've got to run into committee. But the appointment of the former Governor General, David Johnston, as the special rapporteur who's supposed to advise on whether there should be a public inquiry. Mr. Johnson was m very recently a member of the Trudeau Foundation, which of course is embroiled in a scandal for accepting money from Beijing, the dictatorship in Beijing, to buy influence with Justin Trudeau. It's an influence op. So we can't have appointments. Even if we have good people, you know, Mr. Johnston, the, it's not a question of if he's a good person. The question is, is there an appearance of a conflict of interest? And absolutely there is. So we need a public inquiry now to examine foreign interference in our elections and foreign influence in our democracy. And we need an appointment to that office of the ethics commissioner of someone, frankly, who isn't related to any of Justin Trudeau's lawbreaking cabinet ministers. Thanks so much.